It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 20th of March. I'm Michael Groff. Dry weather for a change and temperatures getting back to near normal for the weekend and early next week as we see a change in the overall weather pattern. May see a small chance of rain return by the middle or latter part of next week, but overall, things look to be calming down around here for a while. Let's talk about it. Yesterday in the valley, 65 degrees the afternoon high, 49 the low. We did pick up one one hundredth of an inch of rain early in the morning. And outside now, here at 7.25 a.m., we've got mostly sunny skies out there sitting at 50 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 41, humidity 71 percent. The winds are calm. The barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, 37 the cold spot at Fort McDowell, 39 Goldfield. Most of us are in the 40s to near 50. The upper air look shows a low over the Great Basin that's been quasi-stationary for the last couple of days, but that will finally begin to move east. As it does, we'll see some clouds around here today, but all precipitation should be confined to the northern portion of the state. The watch warning map is extremely quiet across the country. Some wind advisories up across parts of the northeast. But that's about it, really. Not a whole lot happening across the country. Convective outlook for today with that cold front moving across the eastern half of the nation. We do have a marginal risk of severe storms from extreme east Texas through parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, as well as the northeast to include New York City, Hartford, Buffalo, Rochester, New York. Precipitation for the next seven days. Not expecting any rain here in the valley, or if we do, very, very light with uh, precipitation amounts generally a trace or just a couple hundredths of an inch for northern or eastern Maricopa County and some slightly heavier totals up along the rim and across northern Arizona. But the pattern is changing, and we'll take a look at that now as we check out the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our anomalous ridge over the north and northeast Pacific. We've been talking about that for a while, but that will be breaking down in coming days. Otherwise, we've got a low over the Great Basin. That's weakening. And a couple of waves out there uh, just off the west coast. A west-southwest flow aloft. So down at the surface, plenty of high clouds around today. We'll call it partly sunny this morning, becoming cloudy by late this afternoon. High temperatures here in the valley should be in the upper 60s to near 70. There is a small chance we could see some rain or snow across northern Arizona today. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Lows mainly in the 40s and low 50s. And then tomorrow... Partly sunny, high temperatures in the low 70s. Mid 70s on Sunday, mid and upper 70s on Monday, the sky partly cloudy. Tuesday, partly cloudy, we've got some systems passing mostly north of Arizona, a few widely scattered showers possible up there, but here in the valley we will remain dry, it looks like. Even on Wednesday, not looking at any precipitation here in Phoenix. Uh, partly cloudy skies, high temperatures still remaining in the low and middle 70s. And then on Thursday, this little positively tilted trough moves into the southwest. Could bring a small chance at some rain in here, but for the most part, uh, I think we're going to stay generally dry. This would be about our only chance of rain, and even at that, I'm only calling for a 20% chance. All right, here we go to a week from today. This is Friday the 27th. That system now moves off into the Plain States. We're left with a mainly zonal flow here. Temperatures would be not too far away from average, maybe a couple of degrees shy of normal. And going out 10 days to the end of the period, this is Sunday the 29th, a zonal flow, and that looks fairly dry. Temperatures off the national blend of models will warm it up to near normal levels for the weekend and early next week. And even beyond that point, it looks like highs will stay at or maybe just slightly below average, through much of the rest of the month. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. And if you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new video, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there. You guys have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.